welcome to another episode of Jug Band Quarantine Edition. We're looking at some ways that you can use things around the house to make some music in case you're stuck inside. What we have here will be our one-stringed instrument. I like to call them a canjo, kind of a hybrid between a can and a banjo. But what I actually have today for my resonator is a cookie, can, uh, cookie tin lid. The cookie tin banjo is a classic jug band instrument. An alternate resonator is a planter um, from Ikea. And what I'm going to use for the neck of my instrument is a piece of 1x2 that I just found down in the basement. To prepare it for our one stringed instrument, I put a nail right in the end to loop a string around, and then I pre-drilled a hole to put a peg through. The peg that I'm using is a chopstick I have here, and I did pre-drill a tiny hole in the chopstick for putting the string through. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the chopstick and through the 1x2, and I'm going to get my string here ready to string up. Now if you're an instrument player, play stringed instruments, hopefully you'll have a spare string of some sort with a loop end around. The house, if you don't, you can make one out of fishing wire or weed whacker wire, any of those things is going to work. You want whatever you use to hold some high tension so they make a good sound. Now I've looped this around the nail and I'm going to take the other end of the string I'm going to put it through the pre-drilled hole and the chopstick and then I'm going to go ahead and pull it all the way. Once I've pulled it all the way, I can turn my chopstick to get some tension and then I'm actually going to push the chopstick in pretty tight so that it grabs the string and holds on. And you'll hear, as I put some more tension on it, I'm already getting some sound out of the string. Now, uh, our only job is to make that sound louder with our resonator. So, my resonator, again, is the cookie tin lid. And I'm going to take it and slide it under the string that's already tight. Now, it might make some sound already like this. It's a buzzy, kind of fun little sitari sound. But what I want to do is make a clean sound, so I've got a little piece here, a dowel, and I'm going to pull the string up and slide this under on top of that to make a bridge. Once that's done, you're going to get a pretty strong, clean sound out of your kanjo. Great, that's all that it takes. Now to play the kanjo, um, you're not really going to be able to fret it, the string height is going to be too high. So. I recommend taking something like a slide. Again, you might have one of these if you're already an instrument player at home. You can simply run it along the string. <laughs> and you can play. But you might not have one of these here, in which case a classic substitution would be uh, maybe a butter knife edge or a spoon I like to use here. There we go. And you got yourself a very functional one string canjo. Thank you. 